All right, here we go. All right, so Sifu Lauscher Montuaisum and my student, Slav Austin. Okay, so we're gonna do pre chi sao. This is before you learn chi sao. This is what you need to learn how to do. Just the idea of flowing and moving with the person. You know, we're gonna, it's very simple. Okay, so we're gonna start on with, with one hand. And my hand is on top, this hand is on the bottom. And I'm just going to move, we're going to do something which is a little concept related to Jiao Jip Sao, catch and running hands, but a very, very simple version of, of this uh, concept. Okay, so we're going to just move the hands, he's following my hands. Here we go. Following the hands, nice and slow. Okay, we see that little motion in the waist, keeping the elbows in the center line as we do this. Okay, then we go the opposite way, just the basic. So you see how I'm moving my hands. My hands are moving with him. And I'm just running my hands from one, from his palm to the back of his palm, keeping the elbows a little bit more centered. Right. Okay, great. And we're going to do it this side. Jaw jips out. Running hands, just a running concept, a concept. So when you get to Chi Sao, you'll understand how to do Chi Sao. This is sort of like a prerequisite or real basic, the other way. Okay, good. And then we go to the next sequence where we go to the cross hand movement. We're crossing the hand, we're doing the same thing. And the cross hand, we're keeping our hand in center, keep the elbow a little more centered, like that. There we go. And coming right back to the center line as we do this. Okay, then we go with the other cross hand, the inner, this is called the inner uh, gate. And so, Noi, Noi Moon. I'm going to turn a little bit more this way. All right. Okay, great. All right, now we're going to do it. Uh, let's describe the gates. Okay, this is the inner gate right here. We're going to turn here. This is called the inner gate. I'm going to turn it all the way around here, a slot here. This is called the indoor, which is called Noi Moon. And the outside here is called Oi Moon. All right? And so we have four basic positions where I have both of my hands on the inside. And I have uh, both of my hands on the uh, outside. And I have one hand in and one hand out, which is neutral. And I have one hand in on this side, one hand out. Okay, and then I have both hands on the outside on his right, and then I have both hands on the outside on his left. So those are our basic positions. So now we're going to do two hands, five running hands, just run it. Same thing that we're doing, nice and slow, you can see this. So you're a beginner to Chi Sao or to Tui Shao or anything, this is just your basic concept. Don't curl the wrist that much, just follow the hands, right? Just follow the hands gently. So we're not doing like a big hun sao, we're just following the hands and working on the principle of sticking the energy and maintaining the elbow. And we go the opposite way. So you can see you can do it with two hands, just like this. Very good. Okay, we did it with two hands. Okay, and now the running hand also works if he presses down. So he presses down, I'll run my hands back on top. I press his hands down, he runs it back here. He presses my hands down, I run it back onto a superior position. He presses down. Now Slav is in a superior position. Now I can reverse this motion by going up. I go up, and then he comes up this way. So we're going to just do it like this. He push my hand up. This time we're going to use the movement in Wen Chun, which is like a tuk sao, a lift. Okay? So I lift his hands up, and then he lifts my hands up. Very good. He lifts them up, I lift his hands up. He lifts my hands, I lift his hands up, and we can continue this as a drill. Okay? Now then we have energy going back and forth in the diagonal. Okay, so where's the energy at this angle on the camera? And so you can see as I push my hands forward, he, he pulls in, and I pivot my waist. And so later on, this is like a prerequisite to learning how to do uh, Chuen Ma pivoting or going into the Tan Sao position. 
And it's just also similar to push hands. It overlaps with Tui Shao, single hand push hand. And so we roll the body, okay, from this angle, just straight in, push it in here. And just take our time. So my hand pushes at his, uh, close to it at his hand, or closer to his wrist. Okay, good. And so on. Now we can also, on this side, we do the same thing. Again, you can see it from the other side. Turning my waist. Just keeping your head on center. So I'll keep the head on center. So the head stays right on center. So we don't want to turn the body like this and turn around. We want to keep the head and the nose facing right to the center. And only pivot is necessary. Don't over pivot or over turn the waist. Okay, great. Now we're going to do it with two hands. So you push both hands here. I draw in, press one foot, one leg forward. And I yield. This is teaching me the concept and the principle of ebbing and flow. It's the basic concept, ebbing back and flow. This is used in Tai Chi, Tui Na, Jin style, most of the Yang style Tai Chi. I use this pattern. We do it this way. You can see it a little better on camera here at this angle. Okay, and then I'm going to make a change. So as he push, I go up on the knees here. I come back around on this side, and then he pushes that side. The ebb and flow, keeping the head again on center, keeping the spine straight. Very important when you do that. And you can see that motion. His hand is, and I keep pung energy. I keep that forward energy just a little bit, and I go back around this way, and then I push again. And, okay, and then I also can push this way. When he pushes forward, I go back, circle, all right? Draw, push. Roll back, lu, um. Lu, um. Rolling back, forward. Now he can push this, I can go down, dissolving down, forward. Down, forward, down, forward, down, forward, down, forward, and down. When I bring him down, I don't bring him straight down to me. I bring him down at an angle, off on the side, angle to my right. Okay, great. Okay, so that concludes our, our clip on pre chi -sao. That says a prerequisite before you do chi style training. This is one of the most fundamental, easiest drills to, to use. Thank you.